He began creating comedy sketches to get through lockdown. Now 19 and a TikTok star with 1.3 million followers, he is outwardly proudly young, African and loved across the continent. Oh, hi everyone. My name is Mbalele Ndava, but you can call me Mugelings, and I am an award-winning social media content creator, and welcome to my world. I grew up in a very small town called Standerton. I grew up around a lot of people, man, my friends, family, neighbors, and all of that. So it really influenced me in a lot of ways because obviously I grew up in an era where there wasn't social media by that time. And half of the time I would spend my time on the streets, playing with friends, you know? So just growing around all of that really influenced me to actually um, become this strong person that I am. And yeah, man, growing up from Kasi actually taught me how to grow a thick skin and I think it helped because it made the person that I am today. So I moved to Joburg in 2022, which is this year, early January, and that was when um, I was getting a lot of gigs that I, um, and, and events that I needed to attend that were happening here in Joburg. So it was actually hard for me to travel from Mwalanga to Joburg each and every weekend, basically. So I spoke to my family about it, and I actually came this side, and it really, really changed a lot because it was a hard transition from coming back from a very small town and coming to a big, a big town like Johannesburg. What drove Banele was the thought of changing his family's situation to a better life. And he was going to need determination. So I started content creation in 2017, officially. Before I, I created comedy content, I was doing dance and also music. So I used to sing on social media, you know? <laughs> because I've always been in the school choir. So I thought, nah, man, let me just try something out. Let me just put my phone there and make YouTube videos and just, you know. And it didn't work out up until um, I fell in love with comedy because I really looked up to a lot of comedians here in South Africa and also abroad. But officially, um, I started joining TikTok in 2020. That's when I took my content creation seriously. There wasn't much traffic that was happening, you know, on my social media accounts. It was just me being passionate and just the love for camera and the love for entertaining people, making people laugh, you know. I was doing it for that, just for the sake of entertaining. But I, I kept going, I kept going, you know. I would get those, those three views, 10 views, and it was something, to, it was something at that time to say, oh, actually, someone is enjoying your content, you know. And yeah, one thing about me, I'm, I'm persistent, so I think that is what led me to this point now. It was his late grandmother he learned the most from, and he honors her in a unique way. So this gown is very special to me because it was my grandma's favorite gown. Ever since she passed away, um, I've just taken it as her token of appreciation, and yeah, I just use it all the time. As to why I actually liked this gown a lot when I started content creation was that I, I think it was a strategy for me to actually catch people's attention, you know? Because obviously I wasn't well known that time and Mugelings wasn't just a name that they can always remember. So I was like, let me just wear something that, that will actually catch people's attention. So every time I post, I wear this gown, so like, oh, it's the guy with the blue gown, you know? Another persona which Mokeleng's hundreds of thousands of Instagram followers love is his sporty one. This is my netball outfit that I used for my netball skits. And the reason why um, I cross dress is because costume plays a lot of part of my content creative process. For me to look a certain character, I have to wear like that character, you know, just so it can be believable into the audience as to um, what I'm trying to portray or what story I'm trying to tell. So for me to get my message across, I obviously I have to um, look that character. So I would say costume plays a lot, a lot in my creating process. So the reason why I, I, I think um, people resonate with me is that I create relatable content. Um, with every video that I, that I do, I just try to actually take people back as to where we grew up, you know, the Gassi. Because I really like to stand up for Gassi kids, you know, um, and I, I don't try to show a cool things um, or try to be like someone else for social media. I just put things as they are. I think my sense of style is very different from Mugelings. Um, because I'm very shy, I'm very down to earth, I'm very calm. So I can say that Mugelings is an outer ego, um, which um, which Banele uses to actually get to places where um, he can reach. 
With content creation, it's not just being on camera, you know, it's all about storytelling. So it's really important for people to relate to what you're saying and to actually grasp or learn something from whatever message that you're trying to get across. Unable to study after matric because of financial constraints, Banele is now saving to take himself to varsity while entertaining all the way. I think getting a thumbs up from people in the industry really um, does pushes me a lot. So just getting that validation from them is to you're doing a great job. Just keep on going, um, and it's so heartwarming. It's really, it's really heartwarming to see such people that I look up to actually saying kid you doing good you know and recently i just won um um content creator of the year at the cloud africa awards it was such a big movement for me it was my first ever nomination award nomination and i won it and to think um the competition that i had was people from ghana nigeria basically the whole of africa it was such a big moment for me and i'm really grateful for it As for a legacy, Moka Lengs wants his fellow youth to be fearless but kind. Do what the world says you can't and make your own rules. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.